Now most RC cars are all the same with the method of putting thicker shock oil into the suspension on your RC car. And so let's go on with the video. So first I'm just going to take the body off and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my tools ready for this video. Alright guys, so I've taken the body off the tractor slash. Now all I'm going to do is get the tools that you will need for this project of putting thicker shock oil into the suspension on this tractor slash. So alright guys, I've got the tools. I'm just going to use some 900 CST silicon shock oil. I'm going to use a adjustable spanner and also a couple of allen keys but you might need some, something to help you unscrew the top of your shocks depending on what make they are and whether they're stiff or not so the first step is to remove the suspension so what you need to do is just unscrew a couple of screws now this is universal for most remote control cars just that screw and then there's another one just down there which you will need to remove to make sure that you get the suspension fully off and now do the same on the other screw so all right we've got this suspension off now i'm just going to pull the spring taut and then remove the end of the suspension. Suspension tore, clip just slides straight off. Now the spring will pull away. All you have to do is unscrew this. And this bit of my shot is really, really tight. I can't unscrew it with my fingers. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these plastic bits off, just slide them down and they come straight off. And then I'm just going to take this and twist it, but you need the spanner so that you can grip this bit here. Got the spanner on, just going to tighten it up, and then once it's tight, I'm just going to twist, and now it's loose. And so now, just unscrews. there's my shock cap. Lift that off, there's the oil. So at this point you'd pour your shock oil or fluid onto this container or a container and make sure that you dispose of it properly and then put some new shock oil in. And so all I'm going to do is fill this shock up because I changed the oil very recently. And so I'm just going to Make sure that I do not overfill the shocks because if you overfill the shock then it won't work properly. So holding the shock over the container I'm just going to put some more oil in this shock. There we go. Now as you can see it's not too full. Now I will just put the rubber cap on. And then, once I've done that, put the plastic cap over the top. Just like that. Now I'll tighten it up, and then the shock is done. So now all I will do is put the shock back together, and then put it back on the car. So the shock is now back together and all you need to do is put it back on the car and then repeat this process for all the rest of the shocks. 
so guys that is it for this video like subscribe share this video and watch some of my other videos bye